Hey everyone, following up on my last video uh, I did last week, uh, how long this Blue Eddy EB70 would run my Dometic CFX3 75DZ. Um, a couple people was curious uh, about how long it would run it on refrigeration only. Uh, last week I did one side at 36 and one side at 18, I think, degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run a test. Uh, I set them both to 36 degrees and see how long it lasts. So stay tuned and we'll hopefully get some good results. The Bluetti has a full charge. I'm gonna run it out of the DC side of things. Um, it's currently turned off. I just wanna show you. It goes from this outlet to the only plug into the fridge. So go ahead and power on the Bluetti. Turn the fridge on. Oh, it came on. This side's still a little low here at 25 degrees because I had it set to freezer uh, the whole week, but that'll turn on, warm up here pretty soon. So it is 3:20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday. So we will do a time test to see how long this thing can run both sides on fridge only, and to kind of simulate. Like I'm going somewhere, camping or in the car. Pack this out with some drinks and some pepperoni. Except this. This side has some meat, drinks, butter. Down there, some more pepperoni, salad, that sort of thing. So, this should be pretty close to a, how someone may pack this if they're going camping or a long trip or in the car for a while. Uh, one thing I want to mention again, it's pretty much a control test. It's gonna be about 70, 72 degrees Fahrenheit in my basement the whole time. Um, I'm not gonna open the lids a whole lot, if at all, to get the maximum use out of the Blue Eddy EV70. So, um, the test is officially underway. All right, checking on the battery level on the Blue Eddy, running my Dometic cooler. It's been three hours and 15 minutes, and the battery is still showing full, so 80 to 100%. Go around here. Both compartments are sitting at 36, right where I have them set. I didn't think the battery level would be any different considering it's only been a few hours, but you never know. I'll check back in a little bit. All right, it is just after 9 p.m. Doing a little check in here. Uh, one bar is missing, so there is 60 to 80% left on the Blue Eddy. The compressor in the fridge is running. Uh, the temperatures are just slightly over the 36 degrees I have it set to. And it's pulling 50 watts, 49 watts or so. Uh, this will be my last check-in for the evening. I will try to remember to do it in the morning before I go to work. Uh, if not, I will do it right afterwards as soon as I get here. So, should still be running, but we'll uh, find out tomorrow. Alright everybody, it's 3.20 in the morning. It's been exactly 12 hours. We are at the same level there. It's missing the one bar on the battery indicator. Checking the temperatures, 36 and 34. So it must've just ran for a little bit for this side to be down a little, a little lower, but we are still going. I'm gonna go to work and I'll check back in when I get home. All right, everybody. It's just a little bit after three o'clock PM the next day, uh, checking in on the Blue Eddy. Oh wow, we have two bars, so it's 20 to 40%. Uh, hasn't been quite 24 hours yet, so I'm actually pretty surprised that it's drained that much. And check the temperature on the fridge, 36 and 36 still. So let's keep it running and see how long it goes. All right, checkup time. I just got down to my basement. Uh, I heard the compressor just kick on on this thing. So it is running right now. And we have uh, 20 to 40% still. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's been that same percentage for the last six hours. Um, I wonder if maybe the indicator drains a little quick at first, but then it holds longer towards like the middle of the battery, or maybe this maybe not be that accurate. I'm, I'm not sure, but 
Uh, it, I thought it drained pretty fast, the first 60% there, and it's been holding steady at that amount since uh, my last check-in at three. So, pulling 50 watts, and as you can see, the smaller side is cooling back down to 36 degrees. So I'm going to let this run hopefully through the night and give, do another check-in uh, first thing in the morning. And I just wanted to point something out too. I'm actually pretty impressed um, with this fridge. The compressor was maybe running for a minute, minute and a half, and then it got back down to temperature. So the compressor actually just turned off. Um, I know I'm not out in the elements where it's hot or maybe really humid where this may have to run more, but I still think that's pretty cool and pretty neat that the compressor inside of this fridge is, is efficient enough to run as small as possible and turn back off to help save more power. So still sitting at those two bars and we'll go from there. All right, it is just past 3.30 a.m. So it's been just over 36 hours. And we're sitting at 20% battery life. Thirty-six and thirty-four. So far, so good. Let's keep it going. And I'll check back in a little bit. All right, EB seventy check-in here. It's exactly seven twenty a.m. It's been right at forty hours to test this, and we are still at the twenty percent bar. And temperatures are. 37 and 34 so the compressor should be kicking on in just a minute um, I know I ended my last test early because I was afraid that when it got down to the last, this last bar that it would turn off in the middle of the night but it's been four hours at least since it's been just on there so I'm thinking that uh, once it gets down to a lower amount it actually lasts longer than the top top half but just my guess slash observation but let me know what you think uh whether that may or may not be true maybe any experiences you've had with these so i will check back in here in a little bit all right it is now 8 20 a.m it's been exactly 41 hours since i turned this on and i hate to do this but i do have to cut this test short again um i'm about to leave my house for a few hours at least and um, it's been at this 20 percent bar now for five hours uh i don't think It'll last uh, the entire time that I'm gone, but 41 hours with still some life left, uh, no power input going into it all, no solar or anything like that. Uh, I'm more than impressed with it. Um, like I said, both sides are set to it, like a, a refrigerator temperature at 36 degrees. The lids weren't open. It's kind of ideal conditions because I'm indoors, so you're not out in a vehicle or outside or anything, so... Your tests, if you any 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 other sort of environment, are probably going to be skewed a little bit one way or the other. But that's my experience. I just wanted to see how long it could last. Right now, like I said, like I said right now I'm at 41 hours, uh, and it's done an awesome job at keeping up with the temperature and the power needed to run my my fridge. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's definitely cool to see what these things can do over the length of time. Um, maybe it can help you make a decision on what you may need. So hope you have a good day and a good night and stay safe.